Hello friends, Jason here taking a look at gold starting in the weekly time frame. This is going to be the last week where I'm willing to call this a bear flag. It's too extended for the length of the drop and if it doesn't drop this week or break out and negate this week, I'm simply going to move on to just considering this a tightening sideways range and trade it as that. So on the weekly time frame, we... And again, this is the last time I'm going to be willing to say this. We've got a weekly bear flag. We're looking for a break of 14.45 to see that execute. We thought we were going to break out of this last week with a strong daily push, but we pretty much gave all of that back. So that is an important level for us to watch. We have daily or weekly resistance at 14.84 because of that push. So nice tight trading range. Not a lot happening. Pinned down by our EMA 5, 26, and supported by EMA 26 on the weekly i believe i misspoke we are pinned down by our email 12 and email 5 we have support with email 26 the red guy here on the weekly time frame on the daily here's that big push to the upside we thought we were going to be negating that pattern however we just simply held it let's see if we can draw a trend line here that makes a little bit of sense just connecting the tops of my two green candlesticks and we get very very close to breaking out of that but we have the next can of close underneath failure to re-break so we have a little bit of a trend line play with that if you want i'm not going to pay much attention to it all we know is that we are in a daily uptrend, which is counter this overall downtrend. So things are looking a little optimal. Let's see if bulls can hold on to this trend. What we need to do is establish daily higher low over top of our most recent low, which is 1450. So if we are able to do that, we will have this slow trudge and hopefully continue this trend and negate that weekly bear flag scenario however if we fail to hold 1450 we're going to negate this overall daily uptrend and look for downside continuation because that 1450 is not very far away from 1445 lose that and like i said the weekly bear flag has a chance to execute on the daily time frame we reviewed for our time frame we see that the tightening range up here has gone to the bears the bears have stepped in so a little bit of a scallop and a scallop is a quick drop a rounded bottom into a lower high and downside continuation looking like we're getting a little miniature bounce right there so we have a key level that the four hour bulls need to defend we need to stay above 1458 if we have a chance of seeing any positive follow through right now bears very much in control and on the hourly time frame here's that beautiful rounded bottom nice upside move giving it all back and now we are looking at a little bit of a bounce not quite oversold but we do have that area of support that they're trying to stay above and maintain that four hour trend Anyway, that's it. Not a very complicated chart today. Looking for a big breakout. Things are going to get interesting once we get out of this daily range, I think, and see some weekly follow through or negation of that weekly bear flag. And uh, at that point, we'll have more to talk about. Until then, uh, and until tomorrow, have a good one.